We've covered digitizing in previous videos and labs, but while you're digitizing, you can also fix topology. Now you want to digitize in a way that reduces the number of errors. So you set snapping and do the various digitizing methods like the removing overlaps while you digitize to autocomplete, but still you'll have errors in your data. And so to clean those, you need to use the topology checker. And so the topology checker is a plugin that is usually activated, but it may not be. So you may have to look in the plugins and manage them. And then when the repository opens, you need to look for the topology. And there it is before I even get a topology checker. It might not be activated. So if it isn't, you need to click next to it and it'll show this icon then in one of your toolbars. I previously activated it, so here's my topology checker. If I left click on that, it opens the topology checking panel. I have a data layer here, uh, actually several data layers here, and we're going to show you how to check the topology on this one data layer called land cover. So this is an area in France, and I've loaded up a Bing map here behind it. I showed you earlier how to do that in the tile services and I want to make sure that these data are well formed so I want to create a topology table and then check for errors in that topology table in the configure the topology table here this little wrench I can left click on that and it'll open a topology rule window and I can add rules now the only rule I'm going to look at here the only layer is the best land cover because um, I'm checking for errors within that data layer. So I can look and say it must not overlap, which means that within the layer itself, polygons must not overlap. And then I add that rule. I can also say that it must not have gaps. So I want that best land cover must not have gaps, means there's no slivers between this, the various um, polygons. This might be something like any layer that has complete coverage and it's a polygon layer and they can't overlap. So a parcel layer might be one of these land covers or certain like this. Municipality or political boundaries might be like this. There's no area within a state, for example, that nobody has control over. So once I set the rules, I can say okay and then I can check up here or validate the topology by clicking on this check mark. So if I left click on that, it looks through the data and finds errors in the geometry and it highlights some of them. So I can turn the errors on or off with the show errors button and it shows some of the errors. In this case, it's only showing the gap errors in this red. I can also look at the individual errors by clicking and it shows the polygons that are associated with these errors. These are large um, polygons for the most part. So for some of these, especially in these overlaps, it shows the polygon that participates. So I would inspect the edge to find that overlap error. In that case, it's right here is the overlap error. So I then would go and fix these by turning on editing and making these errors disappear. I can fix one really quickly here, although I haven't set snapping. Um, it should work. So I can start then the best land cover, toggle editing on, get, grab my vertex editor, grab here and pull across and click. And then I want to save these, stop editing, and then I can back up and recheck the topology. And now I have three errors because I fixed that one. So you'd go through identifying each error and fixing it and then save your changes, recheck the topology so you get none of the table and you have a good data set. Now I'm going to go ahead and reopen this and I'm going to delete these uh, rules and I'm going to add some other rules for different data layers. So I'm going to show you here these two data layers. There's a best roads. Oops, I should turn this error off. And then there's a best building. So these are two different layers. I have some of the buildings digitized and the road beds digitized. To show you that you can have um, rules that are between layers. So one of the rules might here that best buildings must not overlap with best roads. Right? I don't want the buildings and the roads to occur in the same location. I can add that rule and say OK. And then I can check for those errors. And it identifies errors where the buildings do indeed overlap with the roads. 
So I would have to decide which I want to fix, which is an error there, and pull the building back or reshape the road for these overlapped areas. And it shows that basically if I click on each of these, it will show where the error is. So you can see here the error highlights the building where there's an issue every time there's one of these overlaps. If you look here closely, you can see the, the building switch. And so that tells me which of the buildings is involved in the error, and then I could fix it. And if I value the topology again, each time I fix one of these, one will disappear. Now, typically you fix all the errors or attempt to fix all the errors and validate the topology. Most of them go away, if not all of them. There might be one or two left where you didn't quite fix them correctly. You cycle through that until all the errors are gone, and then you save your data and you have good, clean topology.